A study from 2021 showed that worldwide, the average person spends six hours and 55 minutes looking at screens for internet connected activities each day. On average, three hours and 16 minutes are spent on mobile phones, of which two hours and 25 minutes are spent scrolling through social media. To the best of my reading, this is separate from work, uh, work time spent in front of a computer, but uh, probably does have some overlap with us playing on our phones while we're at work and should be working. Uh, but either way, approximately 30% of the world's day is spent mindlessly looking at a screen. Add in work, sleep, other responsibilities, and we pretty much have our 24 hours booked up. Uh, I do realize that this does not take all variables into consideration, but I do feel the basic idea of these statistics is that we spend a lot of time watching TV and playing on our phones. On the other hand, or on another thought, Based on an average reading speed, it takes approximately 53 hours to read the Old Testament all the way through and 18 hours to read the New Testament for a grand total of 73 hours to read the Bible from cover to cover. If you devoted six minutes a day, you could read the whole Bible in two years. If you devoted 12 minutes, you could read the whole Bible in one year. If you devoted 25 minutes, you could read the Bible cover to cover in six years. 50 minutes, Read the Bible in three months. Two hours and 29 minutes a day of reading the Bible, you could read the Bible in a month. Now, this is only to read the Bible from cover to cover uh, as any other book, but the point is still there. If the world were to replace their average social media time, which I said was approximately two hours and 25 minutes spent scrolling through social media, <clears throat> if we were to replace that time with reading the Bible, the whole world could read the Bible every month. And if we just cut it in half, the whole, uh, every person in the world, based on that average, could read the Bible every three, uh, once through every three months. So now we have a scale for how much time we spend on our phones in front of a screen. And we can also see what we can do with that time. Whether it's reading the Bible all the way through or diving into a specific passage for, for an hour of study, we need to make the time to do what is important to us. Reallocating some of our TV and phone time will have incredible impacts on our spiritual health and understanding. 1 Peter 2, verse 2 says, Like newborn infinite, infants, long for, the spirit, long, long for the pure spiritual milk, that by it you may grow up in salvation. Instead of constantly ingesting the media of the world, we need to study the word God has given to us. For us to grow, we need to study and learn. Romans 10, 17 says, so faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of God. So to build our faith, we need to hear the word of God. As my dad told me many, many times growing up and even uh, into my adult years, he says, we make time for what is important to us. If we are serious about growing our faith and our commitment to the Lord, Reading his word should be important to us, and thus we should be making time for it. I was honestly shocked to read these statistics and compare it to how many times I could read the Bible in a year if I simply reduced my mindless scrolling and my Netflix binging. And I hope that this impact had, excuse me, I hope this information has the same impact on some others as well. I know I need to place more emphasis on studying the word and set it as a higher priority in my life. And my weekly screen report uh, reminders I get every Sunday on my way to church um, tell me that I have the time to read and study. So as we wrap up, maybe you need encouragement from your brothers and sisters in Christ, or maybe you need to make the commitment to devoting your life to Christ by being baptized for the remission of your sins. Whatever it is, you can do so as we come forward, stand and sing.